Hi guys, so from the very last video that I recorded, I would like to do a follow-up on one of the things that, um, that I was talking about, and that would be the body and emotions, the two things actually. Um, and um, I cannot impress upon you the importance of paying attention to both. Your body is like a conduit. Um, between you, the thinking, acting, um, you and source energy um, that from which your inspiration and intuition and creativity and all that sort of fantastic stuff flow. Um, so all the more reason for you, for us to pay attention um, to what our body is saying. Um, and I am... Um, uh, let me give you a, a short example. I, I know I've given many in the videos that I've done, but um, for the sake of here and now, let's do it again. Um, so in fact, yesterday I was feeling rather exhausted um, and um, I had an errand to run. Surely it could have been, been done later, um, but I was quite keen on, on doing it earlier in the day, having risen, you know, before the sunrise and just wanting to get things done. All the while I was quite tired and, and I knew it. My body's telling me just to sleep. In fact, the first time when I had wanted to go out and, and do this, run this errand, it was, I don't know, around 10 o'clock and um, I got dressed and, you know, even had my scarf on and um, I stopped in my tracks. I was like, can't do this right now I just physically can't and so I literally um you know got undressed and um just lay on the on the couch and, and fell asleep for a while like without um without a hitch without anything it was just I was gone totally out cold and then I woke up thinking gosh I've got to do this thing so um and still there was part of me saying chill out you know you've got time it's all right you don't need to but the other voice in my head was saying, no, let's go do it now. So I got dressed again and slowly made my way out. And um, sure enough, walking along, I tripped and twisted my ankle again um, in nearly the same spot as I did last time in the exact same situation whereby I could have done what I had wanted to do was just trying to control uh, you know my time or whatever and um, so I, I was actually a couple of people were asking me where um, a certain uh, monument was in, in Bratislava which isn't too far from here um, so I, I showed them the way they were actually with me when I fumbled and both of them caught me um, by by one of my arms. Um, a twist had occurred and I, I could feel it but it was I, I suppose I was quite lucky. Anyways, so I, I knew in that moment that I was really pushing. I was really pushing. Um, my body was already talking to me and I ignored, I totally ignored it. So this thing happens. Um, and as soon as I could, uh, of course, I had my hands wrapped around my ankle and just asking, apologizing, asking for forgiveness and, um, and um, yeah, just giving it all a lot of love. I went and did the thing that I needed to, got back home um, <clears throat> and chilled out and decided, look, off, stay off the foot. And um, I didn't really go through all I did last time, um, which was like literally, literally staying off of it um, and, and elevating it and doing all the rice stuff, rest, ice, compress and elevate. I didn't do that actually this time. And I kind of, kind of had a feeling that I don't have to, that I could literally just um, work through this energetically. And um, I nearly forgot about it by morning time when I woke up. Um, and it's actually... I don't notice it unless I think about it. So um, that's just a, a, a small example of your body telling you something. And it's always that way. It's always that way. Our body's always talking to us. 
um, and we choose to ignore or we choose to pay attention. And when we pay attention, it's when we, when we um, bring ourselves back into alignment with ourselves and, and, um, and are able to function at our best. So I know this period, I mean, today I'm absolutely knackered. I'm so tired. So, you know, the things that I wanted to go do in, in town and whatever people I wanted to see, it's just like, forget it. No, the, the, the most important thing that I do right now is just rest. And um, so so that's what I've been doing. Um, and I know that there there comes a point when um, when I've, I've achieved the, the, the amount of rest that I need. And we're not talking about night sleeps and stuff like that. Just an overall physical, spiritual, overall rest um, that then allows me to blossom and bloom and flower again and do things that I had wanted to do during this time. Um, lots I had wanted to do and I'm just saying, do you know what, it's okay because there, it's, it's like the, the Pareto's law, um, doing 80% of what you want to do and 20% of the time when you're really focused and aligned. So um, if I want to, if I force myself to do the things that um, I had wanted to do, planned to do, then um, there's a good chance I'm shit out of luck and, and, uh, and, and I know this from experience. So I'm not pushing, not forcing anything. Um, and um, who knows, I might not even <laughs> post this video. But look, um, it is of utmost importance for us to just pay attention to, to what our body's telling us. Okay, so, um, so tune into you, tune into you. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I didn't even talk about emotions. Do you know what? We'll just do that next time. Let's just finish it here. Um, and um, yeah, wishing you great love and um, gentleness to and for yourself. Bye. See you next time.